Welcome to the Minimasters, and today I'm going to show you guys how to replace your transmission filter and at the same time upgrade your transmission pan to this one that has this lowered section and a drain plug, something that the stock pan doesn't come with. So for starters, you're going to want to drain the fluid out of your transmission and out of your pan as much as possible. So I've already done this because I had taken the transmission out, but basically you put a hose right here on one of your cooler lines and then you drape that into a pan here and basically turning on your truck then pumps it out into the pan. If you want more details on that and see it live, watch the video on how to remove your transmission. That'll be right here up in the link. Otherwise, let's get going. All right, so we're looking up at our existing transmission pan and it has like 14 or 17 bolts around it. Matter of fact, knowing the number of bolts is how you can actually identify your transmission, if you didn't know that already. And they are 10 millimeter, and we're just gonna basically go around and we're gonna unbolt every single one. Okay, so at this point I've elected to leave this bolt in and one over here in the corner so that it will stay up and I've just kind of loosened a little bit. Ooh. So there's something, this bolt is stripped. Huh, well, things you find out every day. So I'm gonna take out this last one. And this pan's gonna come right down. Now, typically, there's a lot more fluid in here and it just wants to spill all over the edges as you're taking it out. But since I put this transmission in today, I've spilled enough of it on the floor that the pan is pretty much empty. So here's the underside of your transmission in all its glory. This is your filter right here. And so it just kind of pops right down just like that. Nothing special. We're gonna take our new filter right here and you'll know which end has to go in because there's like the pickup side because this goes up in there and it's just held in my pressure. Just like so. Definitely give it a nice firm tap, make sure it's in there. So new pan, old pan. And so we're just gonna Take this filter and throw it right into the garbage. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reach in this pan here and, ooh, man, look at that. So this magnet here basically catches everything. And if you haven't noticed, it's just, look at it, look at it it's fuzzy. So that's all transmission material right there. It's not my favorite thing to see, but it definitely tells me there's been a lot of wear inside the transmission. But we're gonna wanna take that and put it right here on over top of this little nubby, and then we can uh, put it in place. So real quick, I went and dumped out the pan, and it's always good to do that because you wanna actually look and see what's in here. So here's something that was down there in the bottom. And this finding metal anything in there is a little disconcerting, but this has got kind of a springy nature to it. So I don't know exactly what it went to, but it doesn't give me the warm fuzzy fuzzies, but definitely always a good idea to inspect your pan. So we're back under here. And as you guessed, we're gonna take our new pan and we're just gonna put it up there. Now, I'm gonna turn this for you real quick, but see, I've actually fed the bolts through the pan, through the neoprene gasket, and the neoprene gasket is actually holding them there, which is absolutely amazing because getting these suckers to line up and hold a gasket in place like a neoprene gasket is a chore. So this is actually quite amazing. And again, as you would expect, you're just going to go around, tighten them all. And the lowest torque spec for this is 20 foot pounds. And I also, and I think on the high end, it's like 38. Be careful, I already know that this bolt here is stripped. 
I think when I put this pan on originally, I just did it at 20 because I didn't want to strip any of the aluminum. So that choice is up to you. I'm going to bolt all of these on and then I'll bring you back. And there you go, guys. You've now installed a new transmission pan with a drain plug and a new filter and gasket. Um, I want to issue one minor correction. It's not foot pounds. They actually have this bolts measured in inch pounds. So it's 120 inch pounds to 168 inch pounds. So you will either need to, uh, to calculate that if your torque uh, wrench doesn't do it or you get one that does. And that's it, guys. See ya.